peoples, the natural landscape was alive with powerful spirits and spiritual forces. Their survival and well-being depended upon their ability to communicate and work with the spirit world, to maintain balance and harmony in both the physical and spiritual planes. They worked with the spirits from upper, middle, and underworlds through prayers, songs, drumming, sacred objects, and ceremonies. Some of these ceremonies required the construction of special structures made from stone. The remains of these ritual stone structures can still be seen today at sacred sites throughout the northeastern United States. Standing stones are stones that have been placed in an upright position. They are uncommon. Where they occur, the stones served important functions. Native Americans utilized standing stones to control the movements of spirits at their ceremonies. Some standing stones were used to block out or exclude uninvited and disruptive spirits from ceremonial areas. Others were used as doorways, known as spirit portals, to allow specially invited spirits to enter and to leave ceremonial areas. Standing stones used as spirit portals can be identified by their distinctive notches. At a few sites, standing stones were used to observe astronomical alignments. The most common alignments are with the sun on the solstices and equinoxes. Besides serving as astronomical alignments, these standing stones served as spirit portals to and from upper world. During the alignment, they allowed the spirit of the sun to enter or leave the ceremonies. Ceremonies held at stone structure sites often required the spirit to be called into the ceremony. One way to do this was to have the medicine person place a perishable offering for the spirit in a niche. Niches are small enclosed structures, too small for a person to fit inside. This one is a boxed-in style with a rectangular shape and a front opening. Some niches were built by raising a stone slab on support stones. These come in two styles, the flat roof and the tilted roof. Occasionally, you find a niche and portal combined feature. For thousands of years, Native Americans have built stone cairns as part of sacred ceremonies. Cairns were built and used by medicine people and ordinary people. In New England, they were used for offerings to spirits to hold a spirit during a ceremony, as symbols of peace, as memorials to special people. There are other unknown purposes as well. In addition, outside New England, Karens are associated with vision quest rituals. What is a Karen? It is a man-made, compact, neat pile of stones. Cairns are generally found in groups, from a few upwards to hundreds. To study the cairns, we classified them by their bases. The first type are cairns built on the ground. Of these, the most common are mounds. Mounds range in size from high to low. A few on-ground cairns have vertical walls. The second type are more diverse. They are cairns on base stones. These cairns have various designs. A single layer of stones on top of a boulder. A few stones piled on top of a boulder. 
a mound of stones on top of a boulder. A cairn with vertical walls on top of a low base stone. A mound on the ground attached to a boulder. A mound on top of a boulder that trails to the ground. The third type are cairns built inside split stones. These are called split stone cairns. The most common are split boulders filled with stone. Outcrops with splits were also utilized. A few split boulders have been found at cairn sites without stone fill. These split boulders are spirit portals to the underworld. Throughout the northeast, there are low-walled enclosed structures. These are called enclosures. They were built on the ground, do not have a roof, and they are in middle world. Native Americans used enclosures to hold preparation and mean ceremonies. Some, like the rectangular shaped double unit, had a spirit. Note the Manitou stone in the wall. Others were small single units with V shapes and circle shapes. In addition, outside of New England, small enclosures were used for vision quests. Over the years, approximately 400 chambers have been found. The majority of the chambers are stone rooms underground, with a few above ground. All chambers are totally enclosed, creating the effect of being inside a cave. When a medicine person enters a chamber, they enter the underworld. Chambers were used to hold ceremonies, with and without spirits. Although chambers are underworld structures, some upper world spirits, like the sun spirit, were invited inside, along with spirits from the underworld. We know this because of solar alignments found inside chambers and underworld spirit portals found inside chambers. Shapes and sizes vary from sitting height to walk-in height and from rectangular to circular. No matter what the shape or size, chambers were designed for people as well as for spirits. These places and ritual stone structures are still sacred to the Native American people. Please be respectful when visiting these sacred places.